and then I blew up both um, the column ways and the same over on the opposite side here uh, it touches almost all over I would say so that means that this quite rough milled um, uh, surface only needs a touch up with the with the scraper it's flat indeed so my take on this is namely then to use as I said the straight edge to measure up these faces normal way scrape where needed when needed and ensuring parallelism or alignment this method running up and down repeatedly and also checking with pins here with the micrometer these measurements being repeated at different lengths here After one cross scrape uh, on the waist, also with a little bit was, uh, with uh, circles, and I've also notified myself that made a note to myself that I'm taking the inner part here with the um, hand scraping just additionally. I see there's a ridge there, so I might also then make a relief here <clears throat> although it's, I don't think it's bearing here uh, liberal blue applied took also one hand scraping cycle so you see the more distinct hand scraping marks uh, liberal blue to see then if everything covers which it does really so this is I mean this way was straight and aligned and everything apart from the fact that it was just milled so now i'm quite happy with the at least one side and uh, that is flat and uh, quite okay coverage so then i'll measure with the um, pins and um, of course bridge across now i will use a slower speed and um, a little bit more curved blade and also then a shorter stroke to make more finish cut hold it tuck in going like this and going forward like this not touching the corner take that on the other side so individual rows and individual mark So, I uh, have now, by means of scraping, established a little bit more, uh, let's say, uh, uh, finer surface finish than uh, just uh, the fine mill finish that was there. And um, <clears throat> there's always a chance then that you scrape it a little bit differently so that you uh, have to, let's say, realign it. So you have to measure constantly in between of course uh, the scraping cycles then the means to check this of course to see that they are parallel when you don't have a, a kingway tool is to use this method and then you of course 
clocky. Now I have the opposite way, but then you run this here to measure this side to this side, and you can do the opposite also. Might be difficult to see, but um, having set zero down here, I will then show that this deviates a little bit up here. So going all up, it's within hundreds. And then could probably be a little bit better zeroing in again there as compared to down there. But we'll we'll deal with that uh, a little bit later. At least I think I'm pretty good on using this for the base test. Doing up and checking with the straight edge and also checking this so you get um, the measurements uh, also with the dalton sections proves that this or should prove that this section is okay or not and as i have now i have a little bit more to do here before i think i'm finished so this is done of course in in uh, preparation uh, to flip this around on the parallels to measure the the end here 